Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we... What did we do in our last episode? Oh yes, we expanded the steel factory. Um, I think, yes, we finished expanding that out. Um, and yeah, between them we did the live stream. So we have basically finished off a load of our factories, made them look a bit more pretty. Uh, so yeah, that was good fun. Now in today's episode, what I want to do is I want to try and finish setting up the train setup here so that we can look at getting the um, stuff like uh, crystal oscillator sorted. So I'm just going to deal with that before it becomes a problem um so yeah this is what we need to try and figure out today so i need to get a freight platform in here so i'm gonna need to extend that out a little bit and i'm now sitting here going did i not bring enough concrete with me because you know that would be the normal thing i've done uh right so we need to have the train station, and again for measuring, it will let us do that. And just snoop it. So let's just, you know, try and push it out as far as we can, and then we've got to have three freight platforms, which that's not going to give us. So we need to push that out further. Take the station down. Put the freight platform there. And there. So that's our three freight platforms. We can then bring that down. And you're no, you're not gonna not gonna play ball with that, are you? And you're then gonna say that's too short. And you're not gonna let me Uh okay. Will you hook into that one? You will. Okay. So then we'll just have to extend this out a bit further forwards. Oh, blimey. Where was that hooking into? Right. Come on, Bean. Out the way. And you. Right. Come on. Right. Freight platform there. Then we need a bit more for the actual train. Okay. I always forget how big the train stations can be. Okay. Ooh. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Okay. And then what we're gonna need to do is get this somehow over there so I think we're gonna have to start raising this so when we grab the rail I mean that's gonna have to come out to make the turn I mean that already doesn't look like it's gonna be a right angle I'll be gone. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Whoop. Right. So that's our right angle. Comply. Then we need to get more, so we're gonna need another three out there. I strongly advise you I to think. harvest this specimen. like that then we're going to need to start going up uh, so where are we foundations 2 meter ramp up because we're going to need to go up and over that line
There we go. Your contract Bring you up like that. This Let's keep going up a little bit. Come on. Okay, so that's now square on the edge. And then... I'm going to want to go... Cross a little bit. And then... I oh know. I'm going to want to try and snake it a little bit, like that. So if I bring you over here, mm, yeah, you're going to need to then go out a bit more, aren't you? So that's one, two, three. So we're going to be going to there. Where are we lined up now? So now... Oh, you will actually let me get away with that. Which I'm kind of okay with. It's a bit of a roller coaster. And then... If we... Disconnect this. And we put a little one... A smaller one as we can in. And then rehook that. Can this sneak through the middle? It's too sharp a turn. Where, where would that be okay then? Let's take that down. Okay, so you can go from there, but that's then too sharp a turn. Okay, can we take that down and go from here into here, here into here, yes we can, and then here into here. Okay, that works. Right, and then you will need to have somewhere you can reserve like that. And then, yeah, okay. So we've now got a way for the trains to get out. Which is, to my mind, one of the more important bits. So they come over, snake around there, and then that lets us expand almost infinitely that way to get us more trains. Cool, okay. Nice challenge. So, what we then need to do is we need to figure out, we need to get our out bits going. So, I'm just going to deal with one to start with. And, do do do, logistics. Right, get those out. Okay, so we've now got the train station set up and we can basically whoop, expand that out with that branch there, bringing them all along. They all come along here if they need to and then they spit out and join back onto that bit, that exit one there, which takes them all the way off over there. So, to my mind, that works quite nicely. You will need a pathing signal to get out. A block signal in, so that one's the wrong way, there we go, yeah, because they'll need to reserve up to, I don't know, here, come on, 
Put it the right side. There we go. Okay. Cool. So that lets them get out. Right, now we need to figure out the... Uh, the room we're going to want for our crystal oscillators. So we're going to need to sort out a crystal oscillator room. Which is going to be fun. Okay, let's just drop down into our corridor. It's been a while. It feels like it's been ages since we did this. I think the last time we properly touched all of this was... Um, before, <laughs> before we did the world tour. So, wow. Yep, yeah, we're out putting our computers here. So, let's continue on with our concrete corridor just seeing how little we've got left so I am going to need to make a run and go get more concrete because that's going to be a room there or a room division there yeah okay right let's go and do a bit more let's go and get the concrete but I'm going to test the exit for the train station we've just made. Ooh. So, let's grab our train there that we've just left sitting there. Head over in this direction. And we will put you just there. And then can you take us back to steel imports? Thank you. And then we can grab some concrete. I mean, I'm gonna, we're going to have to tidy this bit up and make it not look quite so, you know, free-floating. It's looking promising. It's saying it can path there, which is good. So we go up. We come round to get out. We sneak past here. Beautiful. No, not even any clipping. Ah, oh, love it. That worked well. Okay, that's cool. Right, so I will catch up with you guys when I've got some more concrete so we can start working on our crystal oscillator floor. Okay, right, and we are back. So, let's head back over. And... Yeah, see, this is working still very nicely. Okay. Going to need to move that out because we don't want that in the corridor. So, that in theory is the end of that room. Which means we can grab here. And this would in theory be the beginning of the next room. Which, you know, we might have to do a little bit of clearing for. So let's just clear a bit of this. I wish you could kind of gear more than one up where we're dealing with these novelesques. Right, how much is that going to clear? Kind of need to get rid of this one right underneath me. Ow. Okay. Right, so... Uh, oh, yeah, it's because I've not brought power over here, isn't it? So, let's say... We're going to go out a little bit further. Let's actually bring some power over here so I can hover about a bit more. I'm just going to clip that straight through. That like that, because we're never going to see that in there. Okay. So, we've got four set up here. I think we can just kind of replicate this as a setup. Um, so, how big is this room? This room is... One, two, three... Four of these deep. So, we can go like that. And then just whiz that out then we need to make four manufacturers so one don't think I've got the stuff for this no already missing cable and I'm going to be missing the heavy modular frames but that's fine 
Right, and what I want to do for this is I want to use the alternate crystal oscillator because that puts out 1.875 a minute, whereas this one only does one a minute. So we will actually put out more using this one. And yes, I know we're going to have to bring in rubber and AI limiters, but we're making those, and we're making those the AI limiters pretty well. So what we're going to need to do is we are going to need our conveyor poles here because we're going to need three levels. Uh, we're going to want... Where are we? There you go, just that normal conveyor pole in the middle. We want to drag this all the way out. Is that as far as the other one? Yep, perfect, because then that means it will uh, cover the four. And then where was this one? Here, which is lovely, because that's between those two. And then, yeah, we can then just run our Mark V belts, which is going to be bringing in way more than we actually need. But, you know, bring in what we can. across the top and what I should get around to doing is making a blueprint for this bit over here with all the mergers and the splitters and whatnot so those two are just going to go so it's actually only going to be one splitter we need for the third output one two so it'll need to be in line with this one cool Oh, no, actually, no, we need the splitters on all of them, don't we? It was the lift I was thinking of. We're not going to need the lift on all of them. Right, put you there. Have I got done that wrong? Yeah, you're... You're in the wrong place. There's one. Come on. There's two. Okay. And we are perfectly happy making use of ones for that. And then number one lifts. Hang on. What have I done there? Well, you're lined up with the output, aren't you? You're not even like you're not lined up with an input. There we go, that's more like it. And you should. Yep, yeah, clonk straight in. Beautiful. Anyone to think I know what I'm up to with that distancing? You didn't clonk. Why didn't you clonk? Why didn't that one clonk? Oh, there's the autosave. Right, let's take this one down and we'll just try that again. There we go. Different sound. So that one's actually now clonked and hooked in. Cool. So now we've got to figure out our way of getting these out. So we're going to have one, two, three lift holes. So you're going to be doing that. You're going to go like that. And you're going to go like that. I mean, that looks quite smart there, I think. Perfectly snucked up there. Yep, okay, cool. So now we need to get... Now we need to route that. And this is where we're going to have a problem with this hill in the way. Because it's how do we route that? Oh, are we going to have a problem with this hill in the way? Right, okay. How do we 
fix this. I think the only way I can see around doing that is to replace these ones here. Which means we're going to need to replace those lifts. And these floor holes. Apply. With one meter thick ones to give us more room to work with underneath for the lift heads. And even then, this is going to be a challenge, I think. So let's just try that again. Go away with your alien artifact remedy. Right, okay. And then you're feeding in. Yeah, I've no idea where it actually is, so be quiet. Right, and then if we sneak under here... We should have a bit where we will have a little bit more room to play with. Ta-da! Oh, okay, we accidentally took that one away. Right, take this away. Right, and now we can get these out. So what I'm thinking here is if I... We get this, and we replace that with going that way. Swap that around again, put you that way, and then we just carve out this, place you with one meters, and it gives us some room to work with. So then we can have our belt coming out like this. The first train. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. Uh, the president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. We're going to want that coming in like this. Nice and tight. I want that doing that. Ooh, that's tight. Okay. So we're going to need to replace that with a one meter just to avoid the clipping. And then we can put that back there. That back there. And we're now popped in the middle. Excellent. And then we can just bring you guys whoa, out like this and run them over there. Because I have no problem running these along the floor. Because ultimately at some point all of this is going to be you know, covered off, isn't it? So, bring you down like that. And then over here. Right. And then let's take this all the way as far as we can. And we were going to sneak it under here. Oh, get myself caught there. To these three holes here. Which, you know, at this point, we could just bring it over like that, couldn't we? Right, and then if we have our lifts like so. Right, no, not the foundation, not the mount, the conveyor belt, thank you. Right, if we bring you over here. We're going into number one. There we go. Fed. And then... Oh, okay. That's clipping through the ground there. I don't like that. We'll fix that. Like so. Yep. Then we've got to get the others up here, which is going to be, I think, a challenge. Okay. So you're coming this way. Okay, and you 
we're going to do a similar thing. Where you're going to scoop under here. And then we're going to hook you into the ceiling like that, in the same way. Do that. To there, and you're going into that one. Cool, so that's two of three run. I mean, naturally, we're going to have to deal with this on the other end as well to actually then get the items uh, fed over here. Cause, so we're going to need to go and play with the Nexus outputs, but that's fine. Whoa! Did not mean to go launching over like that. Right, this one's going to have to come up here. And then down here. And then up here in the same way. And then under. And then you're going to hook onto the ceiling in the same way. Right, and then let's do the same thing. Cool. Okay, so that's those in theory all fed. Beautiful. I'd call that quite productive. Right. Then we can bring the power... Uh, where actually is the power point on these? Over there. Okay, so if we bring the power on poles... Just for the moment it'll be on poles, but I'm sure at some point we'll... Um, probably replace them with wall mounts when we put the walls in. Although actually we could probably do that at the moment. If we're going to use foundations for the walls... If we do this... Uh, I mean, one more should cover that. Yeah, we can replace those poles. And we'll bring it up. I don't know. Whoa. To here. And then this one can go here. Cool, perfectly in line. Lovely. There we go. Uh, okay. And then that gives us a bit of room to do the output. Awesome. I'd say that works quite nicely. Because what I think we can do is we can run the feed the outputs under and try and do them kind of under here. I have just spotted those blow upable boulders, so I'm just going to go and see what's in them. I'm going to guess a power slug. Or not. What's this? What is this? Uh oh. Cat cave. I can hear the mewling already, yeah. Shouldn't have done that. Open the cat cave. Yep, should not have done that. Okay. But, either way, here we have all of... Well, here we've got set up. We've got a nice wall there. We can bring the ceiling we've been working on over to it. Like so. Yeah, I think we're getting there. This is beginning to come together. Although, I've just noticed... Those are going to poke through the top, which means that wall needs to be, well, one more higher for these. And we'll need to bring that up a little bit more as well to cover those. Uh, yes, interesting. But, I think that's where I'm going to call it for the moment, because I'm going to need to make the more, oh, what are they called, manufacturers. So we need at least two more of those. 
we're then going to need to set up the Nexus on the other end. So I think that's probably going to be in the next couple of episodes. But then we're going to have our crystal oscillators being made. I mean, not at a huge rate because we'll be, what, 1.875 times 4. We're making 7.5 a, a minute, which I know, it's not a huge rate. But it keeps us, it, 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 it automates them and it gives us something. Um, and in theory, we could try and overclock them because I think we're going to be producing more resources than we need because these are all already backed up. He says, although no, the screws we've got feeding in at exactly the right rate, I think, from memory, haven't we? I think that was that was what we were up to with it. I mean, they all seem backed up, so we could probably overclock these a bit if we wanted to make more computers. But yeah, like I say, uh, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it for this episode. So as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow. They help get it out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Uh, it is very much appreciated. Thank you very much to my patrons who, please don't forget, you do get access to the save files for both this and Stranded Deep. So you can explore the worlds at your own leisure. Um, but other than that, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you all next time.